Hello, Gemini, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach, and I help sensitive, self-reflective souls choose maximum growth inside and out. I've got an intuitive reading for you about your soul's journey this week, about your path. So let's get started. This is an inside-outside reading, which talks about your inner world as well as its relationship with the outside world. Okay, whole spread left to right. Ooh, Gemini. Gemini! Okay, it's funny because it's like the outside's going well, the inside's a little bit sticky. Wheel of Fortune on the outside, and we've also got Nine of Pentacles on the outside. Two of Swords, and we've got Ten of Wands here. Okay, Gemini, there's a feeling of striving, of wanting to get to a certain place and not quite being there yet. Okay, it's kind of like you feel like you're almost there. I'm looking at this Ten of Wands. We're almost there. He's almost walking into the Nine of Pentacles, which is that comfort and stability and really just being in an in an abundant place that's very soul connected. And it wants to, you want to get there so badly. This energy on the inside of you wants to get there so badly, but it's almost like you're so exhausted. You don't think you can take another step. I'm not talking about your physical energy level, although it may be manifesting in that way for you. I'm more talking about the way you feel inside when you have a moment of silence or a moment of stillness, a fleeting moment of stillness, you just feel like, oh, I can't get there. I know I have to keep going. I can't, I just, but I can't. And let's look at this Two of Swords. You know, I feel some confusion with this card. Almost as if you're not trusting the way you're walking or the way you're, you're headed is going to lead you where you actually want to go. And there's part of you that's hoping for some magic, the Wheel of Fortune. It's hoping for some magical thing to come in and, and suddenly shift your fortune, suddenly shift your path. Because what you believed was the right path just seems so hard. And because it's so hard and you haven't seen the reward you're wanting to see, there's a little bit of doubt and there's a little bit of confusion that it was the right choice. And so now, rather than move forward, you're wondering if it's best to just cut your losses and try something else. And I see that there's a, there's a chance for that. There's a, a possibility for for something new coming in, for some movement happening. But this wheel card is also reminding you that nothing is permanent. Everything changes, everything moves. If you're feeling at the bottom of the pile, if you're feeling at the pit of despair, then the wheel will turn and you'll come on the upswing again. You'll come back to the top. So what I want to reassure you with, Gemini, is that you are so, so close. It's as if you're one step away. This could even be like a little illustration in a book where he's walking this long path. He gets to these rocks and he's just about, see if this path could kind of come forward off the page and then back into here. He's just about to meet her. He's just about to become her. So he's almost there. And it's like if you give up now, you're never going to get here. You're going to start over again. And, you know, that, that would be possible. You could certainly do that. But do you really want to do that, Gemini? You're so close. <clears throat> it's interesting as we've got two tens. We've got the wheel, which is a ten. We also have the ten of wands. We have the nine, which is a similar energy of culmination. But this 10 is just so ready to start over. But what I want to say to you, Gemini, is that I don't feel it's a good idea for you to start over unless you're incredibly clear that it is the right thing to do. Unless you've confirmed 
This is indeed a dead end. I don't think it's the right time to start over. Okay, this is tricky because if it were just these cards, I would say, okay, this card, this is tough. This is easy. Something's going to shift for you. Cut your losses here and move over here. But the fact that we've got this just, just in arm's reach, just right there, really is telling me to encourage you to hold out just a little longer, just to hang on a little bit more, dig a little deeper, and try to stay on that path because you really are almost there. Let's get you one more card. Okay, King of Cups. Draw on the emotional support of those around you. You have a good, solid um, relationship or relationships that truly have your back, that understand what you're going through without judgment. This may also be a um, someone who can provide guidance, like a mentor or counselor, that type of energy. Lean on them a little harder. What's interesting is the greens are talking to me through these two cards, the healing. This person will help you, or these people, maybe more than one. They will help you through this difficult time because, Gemini, you're so, so, so close, okay? But lean on the right people. Do not lean on the people that reinforce your doubt and confusion. They're not the right people. Uh, <laughs> this is funny for me to say to you because I just gave you advice on which way to go. But the person that's telling you what to do in your support network, you know, if they're just saying cut your losses or if they're saying hold on, you know, maybe don't listen to them. You want to listen to the people that say, no matter what you choose, we'll be behind you. It's that kind of strength that gives you the courage to keep going just a little bit more. And again, I know I'm one of the people I just said not to listen to, but the difference is that we're talking about the support group that's in your immediate vicinity versus you know someone who's impartial, who's outside of it. So lean on that person a little bit, lean on those people a little bit, see if you can hold out a little longer. You have nothing to lose by holding on a little bit more. So, okay, there's one more thing. What else do you, what else are you trying to say? Don't rush this wheel. Don't try to jump ship thinking that your fortunes will shift for you just because you've jumped the ship. Um, <laughs> This is very piratey speaking, jumping ship and fortunes and such. <laughs> the idea is if you drop out of confusion, if you drop out of exhaustion, you haven't quite closed the circle, you haven't quite closed the door. And so whatever you start new is actually still going to come out of that place of exhaustion and confusion rather than reconciliation. And it's the reconciliation that we're headed for. And that might be the most important thing I've said to you the whole time is the reconciliation of this energy in this situation that is more important than choosing to stay on it or not. You need to make sure it's reconciled within you before making any kind of decision. Okay, Gemini, <laughs> thanks for sharing your time and energy with me. I wanted to let you know that I'm currently offering intuitive readings over Zoom, as well as special soul guidance coaching sessions. So if you're interested in learning more, please check out soulguidancewithadriana.com in the description below. And I will look forward to seeing you here next week. Have a good one.